vlog. All right, just drop family here and now on the way to take you to mini Philippine. That's a surprise, okay? So see you in that place. I have parked in a basement, it's very dark. So let me get ready, prepare to go out. And so I take all my things here. All right, so my gimbal, let's go. So this is the Kota Raya complex, which I am talking about. And what this got to do with the Philippines, which I will explain to you. So do not skip the video and stay until the end to get the whole point. So this is the outside uh, of the complex. Let me just uh, go through a bit with you. So you will understand this, uh, why I'm bringing you in this video. So this is a basically a small complex, okay? But I am giving the name Mini Philippine. Why I chosen this title, I will explain everything in this video. In the same time i let you know guys this is my first time to this complex i have passed by many times but this is my first time i am going inside this complex why i came is because of your love this time i prefer to give you something that you may not know especially those who are not in malaysia so this complex is basically you will see the Philippines people who are working in Malaysia they get the home touch here the food that they miss the environment that they miss they can find here while walking in this complex it's not I come here and straight away start making my video no I have spent almost one hour before I start making my video I wanted to know whether do I justify this title or not then I came to the point, yes, I do. I realize 95% of the crowd here is from Philippines. I can hear they are talking. The things that are selling inside this complex are from Philippines. A lot of beauty saloon. All the workers, even maybe they are the owner of Philippines. The things they are selling, which they can get in Philippines. You know, this place is very close to the Chinatown and also a little India. So it is a very commercial place. So I hardly come here because of the traffic jams here. So you can see here all the saloons here. Even the shop that I see, their name also uh, a Philippine name. I come across many places. You can you stay with me, I will show you some of the uh, shops, you know, you will be surprised. It's a mini Manila. You see all the crowd here, all from Philippines. Yes. You see the Filipino, Filipino cargo. Yes, here we go. See. And look at this is the restaurant. Even they having a karaoke inside. The music, they dancing. Here are some local food they have yes you see i mean there are so many foreign workers i mean the filipino workers here they might not be from see another shop that see P, uh, pinoy pinoy uh, enterprises sorry you see a lot, a lot of money changers they specifically printed their philippine rates and here is another manila mart 
So I could take some of the shops only. I think 95% the whole business is a full Philippine domination. Hello, <laughs> welcome to what's that Linus vlog. I just want to ask you why? Why I see here a lot of saloon here? Uh, is it because cheaper here? Yeah, it's much cheaper here than outside, like in a mall salon. Oh, okay. So this crowd is every day or only for Sunday, every Sunday? No, it's every day. Uh, why, why they choose this Kotaraya? Is it because of a church behind? That's where no, no, church, because huh? here is cheaper and then like how they clean their, like, how they, how to say? <laughs> She's my friend Beth and she explaining why, because what she trying to tell, basically they are satisfied. They get what they want probably the home touch because the workers also from philippines so they're satisfied and also are cheaper compared to outside the earlier i was shy to take photos and all that but with the help of these two girls because i was they, they can communicate because this is is in malaysia but inside the complex it you don't feel it's malaysia it's like a philippine and see another cafe where we are they are going to treat me a halo halo which is something special. There's a Philippine food here. So we will have a halo halo and uh, from here we will go back to our own places. Okay, so they wanted to treat me a uh, Philippine beer, which is the San Miguel and uh, halo halo. It is a bit late, so I already had my lunch. So that's why uh, let's see what is halo halo. I know hello hello, but I'm not sure what is halo halo. So I'm waiting for it. And uh, I think so. Yeah, this is the San Miguel beer from Philippine. You get everything that you can get in Philippine here. Almost everything. And this is the Halo Halo. Yeah, this is the Halo Halo. It looks like an ice kacang in Malaysia, but there's no kacang inside. Of course, the ingredients are a little different. And uh, yeah, I will try it. Uh, of course. So she's a pet and uh, next one is Iron. They are the one hosting me in this complex. Uh, yeah. So they are the one who introduced me this place and uh, they say you come here since they know I'm making videos for Philippines. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and liked it and uh, hope it is something new for you. See you in my next video. Bye bye.